Hi everyone, I am Gautam, Physics faculty. Now I am going to discuss a problem related to vectors. See here, there are two vectors A and B have equal magnitudes of 12 units. Some two vectors are there. One let us name it as A bar, other one as B bar. A bar magnitude A, B bar magnitude B. And both are having equal magnitudes that is 12 units. These vectors are making these vectors are making angles 30 degree and 120 degree with respect to the x axis respectively. That means let us take A is making 30 degree with x axis, B is making 120 degree with x axis. Their sum is R bar. The resultant of those two vectors A bar plus B bar is R bar. Find the x and y components of R bar. What is x component of R bar and y component of R bar? Like that the question is asked. I hope you people are clear with this question now. Let us see how to handle this question now. So, you got some idea about this question. Now let me draw the Vair diagram. Generally, what we will do? We will take one coordinate system. Coordinate system. And one vector name, first I told that vector A bar, let me take one vector A bar. They told this vector A bar is making an angle 30 degree with x axis. This is x axis right, this is x axis and this is y axis. So 30 degree with x axis, 30 degree with x axis. And one more vector is there that is B bar, in the question you can find. Here actually this is a B that these vectors are making 30 degree and 120 degree. So let me take under vector B bar. Under vector B bar. This vector now B bar is making what angle means here? It is making 120 degree with the x axis. 120 degree. This total angle is called as 120 degree. Now this is the given information. Now there are two vectors A bar and B bar. A bar is what they told, there are two vectors, A bar and B bar. A bar is made with an angle 30 degree. B bar is made with an angle 120 degree with respect to x axis. That is a question already we read. And they also told A value as 12 and B value is also 12. They told both are having equal magnitudes. A is equal to B is equal to 12. Magnitudes are same. I hope you understood till here. So now one question you have to answer, one question you have to answer that is if from here to here 120 degree, what is the angle from here to here, what is the angle from here to here, because total angle I can take it as 180 degree, 180 degree, from here to here 120 means can I take this angle as, can I take this angle as 60 degree. Can I take this angle as 60? Because your total angle how much? 180. 180. So this angle will become how much? 60 degree. 60 degree. So let me take a first page now. Same thing I am drawing here. Same thing I am drawing here with small changes. With small changes now. This is A bar. This is A bar. And its magnitude is 12. And this is B bar. And its magnitude is also what we have? 12, no doubt, both the magnitudes are same. And here angle 30 degree I told and this angle just now I confirmed it as 60 degree. How you confirm 60 degree sir? Nothing better here. You can observe very clearly here. This is 120. B bar is making 120 with x axis. So total angle 180. This is 120 means this remaining angle I can call it as 60 degree. 60 degree. So I will go back here. 60 degree. Now we learnt uh, in our childhood about resolving a vector into its component. Resolving a vector into components. One point to remember. Here angle cuts. Where angle cuts line? This line. Simple technique. Here 30 degree is making this line. Then this A is equal to 12. That I can write into components as this is uh, 12 cos theta. This is 12 cos theta. Here theta is 30 degree. 12 cos 30. Here resolving into components here what should I write? 12. What this is cos means other one will become what? You know the resolving of vector into components because 
here where it cuts that line simple technique where it cuts the line that is cos theta other line we can write it as sin theta simple technique so again you observe here where to all this cuts this is now b b is making into two components now here also what will happen it is cutting this line this will become 12 cos what we can write here yes 12 cos 60 12 cos 60 and in this direction what will happen now here it is the one side cos other side it will be sine resolving this b equal to 12 into components in this direction where angle cuts that line is always cos other line will be sine so this is 12 mean this is 12 cos 60 and along this line what we get here is 12 sine 60 12 sine 60 i hope you are clear till here now i can write here a bar is equal to you know that one thing very clearly i cap along positive x axis and minus i cap along negative x axis and j cap along j cap along which direction positive y axis so this is a positive x axis i took i cap unit vector this is negative x axis minus i cap and this is a positive y axis i am taking it as j cap j cap now what we can write here what is a bar a bar vector you observe carefully a bar vector it has two components 12 cos theta along i cap 12 sin theta along j cap what is sin theta means here we have to must not let us write not theta we will write it as 30 degree we will write it as 30 degree so what will happen now a bar is equal to 12 cos 30 i cap 12 cos 30 i cap plus plus 12 sin 30 j cap 12 sin 30 j cap you know the values of cos 30 and sin 30 values simply we can write cos 30 is root 3 by 2 i cap and sin 30 if you go it is nothing but 1 by 2 sin 30 value as 1 by 2 j cap so i got here a bar value as 6 root 3 i cap 6 root 3 i cap plus 6 j cap a bar value as 6 root 3 i cap plus 6 j cap i hope all the things students are clear till here is a very easy till here beta next you observe this one b bar now next target is what b bar what is b bar b bar is nothing but here observe b bar this is a b bar it has two components this is 12 cos 60 and 12 sin 60 12 cos 60 is along which direction minus i cap minus i cap 12 sin 60 j cap no issue but here you have to take a 12 cos 60 minus i cap so let me write that 12 cos 60 into minus i cap minus i cap plus plus 12 sin 60 j cap 12 sin 60 j cap okay now you know the values of uh, this is a cos 60 and cos uh, that is a sin 60 also what is cos 60 means you used to write it as cos 60 is 1 by 2 sir yes you are correct minus i cap minus i cap and here what should I write? 12 sin 60 means 12 into sin 60 value we know sir. Root 3 by 2. Well done. You know root 3 by 2. J cap. I hope you people are clear till here. Now what should I write here? B bar is equal to 12 by 2. 6 but minus is there. Let me write minus 6 i cap. Here you can observe here. Minus sign is there. So I kept here minus 12 by 2. 6 i cap next what should i write 12 by 2 6 root 3 j cap 6 root 3 j cap i hope you people understood till here so we got a bar and b bar we got a bar in b bar in the question they told r bar what is r bar r bar is nothing but a bar plus b bar r bar is equal to a bar plus b bar just now we noticed a bar value 6 root 3 i plus 6 j b bar value minus 6 i plus 6 root 3 j let us substitute that so what is that 6 root 3 i cap plus 6 j cap this is the value of what yes a bar this is the value of a bar and what is the next value we have here 
about b bar what should i write minus 6i cap just now we wrote minus 6i plus 6 root 3j cap 6 root 3j cap so now this is b bar so a bar b bar values we wrote now it's very simple r bar is equal to adding these two what should i write 6 root 3 minus 6i cap plus 6 root 3 minus 6 how you got 6 root 3 minus 6 are here you observe nothing 6 root 3 i cap minus 6 i cap so 6 root 3 minus 6 i cap i cap i took common 6 root 3 minus 6 6 root 3 minus 6 now you can observe one more thing here what is there here 6 j cap here 6 root 3 j cap both are plus plus so can i write here 6 root 3 i can write 6 root 3 plus 6 both are same that is a positive positive means same means what i want to say here also positive sign here also positive sign if you take j cap common 6 root 3 here here 6 we can write 6 plus 6 root 3 or 6 root 3 plus 6 no issue okay so let me write here j cap now generally r bar they are asking x component and y component what do you mean by x component that is before i cap before i cap what term is there that is x component before y term what component is there that j cap what component is there that is y x component and y component means if you observe these two immediately you can say one answer there's nothing but x is equal to 6 root 3 minus 6 and y equal to 6 root 3 plus 6 6 root 3 plus 6 these are the options x component and y component i hope you are clear actually i made little lengthy to explain in detail that means to give all the calculation detail i made that one in exam you no need to take that much time easily you can do with fast the method you have to follow like this. this is a a bar b bar this is 30 this is 120 so this is 120 means this is 60 both the magnitudes are equal we did then immediately what we did here yeah, we resolve components. This is a 12. 12 cos 60, 12 sin 60. Again, 12. So 12 sin 60, 12 cos 60. Like that, like that, we resolve in components. I cap, minus I cap, J cap, everything we resolve. We got A bar, B bar values here. After that, R bar is what? A bar plus B bar. But R bar is, it's X component I cap plus Y component J cap. Before I cap, I found whatever the term I calling it as X. Before J cap, whatever the term I am calling it as Y. So X component of R bar is 6 root 3 minus 6 and Y component is 6 root 3 plus 6. I hope you understood better. Thank you very much.